Hello, my name is Darko and you are watching another episode on Doom Doom channel. We are currently in Italy. As you can see behind me, we are in the Pieta uh, Firearms Factory in this uh, town called Gusago near Brescia. We are, came here to see how Pieta Firearms are made. Be with us and come with us to see uh, the production of the Pieta Firearms. We are uh, now currently in Pieta Factory in Italy. We will make the tour of this factory to see how Pieta firearms are made. Pieta Chrono semi-auto uh, rifles and Pieta black powder revolvers. Now we are speaking with Mr. Alessandro Pieta. Alessandro Pieta. Can you please tell me something about this part of the factory, where we are currently located and what is uh, going on here? Sure. First of all, welcome in our building, in our factory. We are located in the uh, first world of the machining. I mean, when you start to produce a gun, you start from a solid piece of steel and then you need to get the technology to make all the parts that you need to produce a gun. We make everything inside our company. We make our own screw, our own barrel, our own cylinder. So let me say that we are a real machining company that make everything inside. But, that's a but, we are using the modern technology, but we are still have really old machine that I would like to show you in our tour because that may explain you where we come from and where we are now. Our dad started the company in 1963, so more than 50 years ago, almost 60 years ago. And at that time, the technology was not the same like in 21st century. That means that we still have something, of course, the law changed a lot, we are really focused on safety on our employees, but we are still have like a museum, a couple of really old machines. One is from the 19th century and one is from the uh, 40s, so 80 and really old one. If you want to, I want to show you the really the oldest machine that we are not using, but it's still working. This is the old machine from the 19th century, right? Yeah, exactly. What, what can you tell me about it? Uh, this one has been used to produce uh, what we call a progressive rifle. We make a model for the 1858 Remington and we call it for shooter. That means that this kind of progressive rifle gave us a lot of success in the championship world of black powder world. We have won a lot of uh, championship and this one is made in a different way from all the other rifles you can find in the market. Start playing and then the twist move on this way. Does give you more stability, the precision, the MOA is really, really close to zero. That means that this one, you have a, like a nail that remove material and we are around 100 of millimeter every time. Mm -hmm. And to make one single barrel, we spend 45 minutes every barrel. So it's a really expensive rifle. It's gonna be a really expensive gun. But, but uh, precision is it's amazing. It's amazing. There's nothing that you can compare. Uh, in Europe, we know that we have just two machines. Just one, two machines? And one here and one in a museum. <laughs> so that bought this one many years ago, and it's just amazing to see how they work. So you can stay 45 minutes watching this nail removing material, and at the end of the day, you get just about five, six barrels rifle. That's uh, why the, that barrel is expensive. That's the reason why the, all the guns is expensive because we select the barrel, we select the cylinder, we have different technology to make that kind of pistols. It doesn't mean that our guns are not good, it means that this one is an excellent different level. It's next level. Next level. So you're gonna spend a thousand euros for, those, right, for my, this pistol and that's the reason why it's so expensive. I never seen this kind of rifle before. That's why it's an amazing technology. Now we are next to the machine that produces simple screws for Pieta black powder revolvers. So all the parts for Pieta black powder revolvers are manufactured here in the factory, is that yeah. right? Not just only for black powder, but all the guns that we produce. 20 years ago, we decided to invest our money in our technology in the company because we were starting to get quality issues with the suppliers. That means that say, okay, stop, we need to get a gun interchangeable, so all the parts that we make are 95% interchangeable. That's good for the customer, 
because if you ask me for a screw, if you ask me for a loading gate, I'll send you straight to your apartment and you can put on a gun and everything will work. 20 years ago, that was not the reality, that was not the condition. I mean, uh, we need to check them all, we reject them all, so say stop. It's time to make our own parts. Even a screw can make a difference of in a gun. Uh, our tolerances are really tight and that's the way that we keep our quality. Uh, tolerances can be a fight, everyday fight, but at the end, our name is well known for the quality and for the precision of all the parts that we produce. We make a bunch of group, 25,000 pieces, 40,000 pieces, so that the machine can work 24-7. They don't need to get an employer, they need to be ready and we got uh, a magazine for each machine, so we put a solid steel of, uh, it's a piece of steel, of six meter steel, and at the end of the day, we will get what we need. So, and the quality, those are little screw that are for the back strap has yes. been produced right now. So they're coming down from here. That means that we can, con you see the two baskets here, one screw, this one has been checked by our quality control. This one will be checked in the afternoon. So we are not mixing and we stand behind our product since the beginning. So it's not just a warranty, uh, good for the customer, but also in the production. We are sure that we are using what is in our uh, mind and not something wrong. So those are the barrel of the telling you and that will be skills on. It's very important to know your shit. Those parts are yes, yes. from a 6 millimeter diameter steel and then after we have two cycles to get our uh, where are we standing here? This is like some kind of center, co center console for the machines or what? Explain yeah, us. exactly. Uh, those machines that work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, are controlled and checked on a computer in the office. So we know exactly what every single machine is doing, knowing the part number, the drawing, the tools that need to be replaced. So I have not uh, led them by myself, but there are someone that can check 24 hours what they do can be checked by remote, so I can use my cell phone to check the, the control and know exactly what he is doing. And we have a guy, I can, I can call you, so he can show you the situation of every single product. This is the list of parts that we're doing, where is red sign, the means, means the machine is on hold, there's an issue, so we need to send someone to check the issue. Uh, we know the time of the time to produce the part, we know the time of stop, we know the time of the life of the machine. So we know exactly everything. Of course we need a badge, you need to check who you are, so the computer give you the authorization to log in and check whatever we are doing. So this is the way that we are working now to control the production. In the past, to make a cylinder, we used nine traditional machines. That means that we may have at least nine mistakes because you have a human issue, you have something to check every time. With those machines, you start from a solid piece of steel and after four minutes you get a finished cylinder. That means they are all the same. It's really important for the production because that's going to be all the same for everyone. For you that you buy the gun, for me that need to produce the gun, for the worker that need to assemble the gun. And it's great for the quality. So all those money has been spent just to make our increase the quality. In tough year that being 2000 now, we spend a lot of money in our company to increase the quality. And increasing the quality means that we need to increase the, the technology. And it and shows the, up to the finished product. Yeah, exactly. And I'm really proud to show you that we do our what we are doing here because that's important to tell the people that how a gun burn. It's not just a gun, there's a technology behind, there's mines, there's invention, there's proud, there's everything behind a gun.
Now we are here in the part of the factory where you do quality control. Is that yeah, right? Exactly. That means that working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we need to stay on the product. That means that we need to control the production in order to tell everybody, okay, this is good, this is not good. We've got three guys working in this room. Every day we get uh, a small projector so you can see exactly the shape of the product that we are doing. We can get I mentioned that are smaller than a thousand of centimeter, uh, millimeter, millimeter yeah. so we know exactly uh, what we need to do and how we, because we get some operation that are close to 300 hundred millimeters, so we need to get that in order to see what we are doing. We also get physical and mechanical gauge, that means that we don't need a computer but we can use uh, like this one, which I want to show you. Those are different kind of gauge that we are using directly yeah, on the machine. That means that we pick up a piece, the piece that we are machining using this gauge, so we know exactly if everything is in tolerance in a really uh, fast way. Of course, there are also mm, a different computer is a 3D computer that check the mention of something else. I'm going to show you in the other room. And that's used by a different technician because we want to be sure that everything's done a proper way. That machine can work when a night, so you can take a piece of steel, a new gun, put on under that uh, projector, and the day after you will know a free drill drawing made by the machine. It's not perfect, but it's a good starting to make our uh, our drawings. So we. In improve the technology in order to, re to be faster and we build them by ourselves. Now we are here uh, with the machine that currently does the testing, uh, tolerances testing for the Kronos Bear. Exactly. Uh, this machine is used when we are uh, producing the barrel of the Kronos. Right now, Simona is checking the chamber of the uh, Kronos rifle. That means that the tolerance is inside, the roughness of the chamber needs to be done in a proper way in order to avoid any kind of issue during your, uh, your shooting section. And this is perfect because we will know exactly if the, the barrel is okay or not. Uh, and we check them all. That means that all the, the barrels, every barrel, is every barrel they produce at the end of the cycle, we check them. So we can guarantee you that they are good for shooting, but they are also good for testing them. This is one of the biggest machines here in the factory. What does it do? Actually, this is a brand new machine. It's a drilling machine. Drilling so machine. we used to drill our own barrel. We can drill the 1851 barrel, a short one, the 7 inch barrel length, or even if the 22 barrel length, 22 inch of the chrono. So we are drilling our own rifle. In the last five years, we spent a lot of money increasing the quality uh, because we want to offer to the customer our idea of barrels. That means drilling, rifling, pruning, machining. That would be our that make the difference with all the others. So we guarantee to the customer that everything is done inside the company. It's made in Italy and it's made by Pieta. This is important for the branding. As you can see, we have just destroyed all the water. Okay, we are again next to some CNC machine that does what? Uh, actually, it's now they're doing the trigger guard for the 1873 revolver. 
It's of made course, the tooling are changed. Of course, yeah, there are some magazines, everything is all automatic. We made a program, the machine can run by itself all day long. Uh, and you can see we are now drilling some hole there and then we make the thread and everything is totally uh, automatized. So there's no necessary to get any operator. This is the uh, traditional part of the factory with uh, all machines that need the human supervision, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we still need them, even if we are changing them all, but those kind of uh, milling machines need the operator to feed the machine. That means that there are no magazines, we put a few pieces per time, and they make only just one operation per time. As you see, the yellow one are the, new, the old ones that are uh, up-to-dated for uh, the current law, and the other one are mini mill that we are using. They are small CNC machines. That means that they can be three or four operators per time, no more than that. But I see there's uh, 25 of them, even if we are still also spending money on the bigger CNC machine. Start from solid piece of steel. This is gonna be the loading level for the 1860 Army. So after 12 steps, we're gonna have this one finished. This is gonna be the first one. So we are cutting the shape of the loading level. On this machine, there's a different variation. <laughs> we made the groove for a kind of model. So you see, there are several operations that need to be done one by one. This is a forged piece of steel that needs to be prepared for the CNC machine. Everything is casting before, uh, casting in the way that we need to be done. Mm -hmm. It's not just a guess, it's just, there's a study behind, there's technology, there's science, and what we are using has been used for years and we have been testing for years. So from here, after uh, three or four hours, we have a finished frame. And this is just the beginning? This is just the beginning. So one, just one operation here. This is the starting point for 1861 Navy barrel. This is the cast piece of steel. Nothing has been done to it. It needs to become a fully operational barrel. I own one feet one fifty five Navy. And the food you are now seeing is a rough material and when you go the other This is one of the steps in production of code 1873. You saw a few moments ago cast iron piece. This is uh, further in operation. It's still rough around the edges, needs more work. This is Let's say middle of the operation. Now we are standing here next to the machine that is fully robotized. Uh, it has a robotized arm. What does mach what uh, this machine does? Well, actually, this machine has been bought several years ago because cleaning part for guns, we are losing the, this capacity. At 10 years ago, 15 years ago, the human skills made the barrel shiny. Right now, we have bought this machine, full automatic machine that clean the surface of the barrel. Right now, we are making the 1858 barrel, and after and we can produce and clean 240 pieces a day. That means that we, have, we are using the technology again where the human skin is missing. And uh, uh, production goes up? Goes up because that you don't need to feed it, there's no vacation, there's no meal, there's nothing. So you just put the, the barrel on the magazine and the day after you get 240 barrel clean.
Now we are next to a machine that does the rifling in the more traditional way. Can you tell us something about that? Sure. Uh, it's a broaching machine, so we have three steps to get a final uh, result. That means that this three kind of broach that made three different dimension. So at the end of the day, you will get the proper dimension for your bullets. That's a 44. That means that you can shoot four, five, four round bullet, and to have it, you have three different uh, procedure, and that's a really traditional and easy way to brush the barrel, and really uh, affordable. So the operator put three, three different brooch, so we get three different, yeah, three different tools, three different tool, three different dimensions. This, this is the barrel for uh, 1851, 1851 Navy. Navy. Exactly. This brooch is perfect for the lead bullets, not semi jacket, of not course, just lead bullets. Pure lead. Pure lead. Being a black powder revolver is enough. The gun that you shot in your video has been done with this with uh, this machine. machine, right? Because this is the, the this new is a new one. one. It's going to be in, uh, start work in January. Uh, the quality is not uh, bad on this machine. No. It's even better. Yes? It's going to be better uh, on a technical side. On technical For the side. final consumer, it's going to be the same. The same. But on our side, it's going to be different. So never forget when we say that we improve the technology is just for us. This is a new rifling or broaching machine, but uh, 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 it does that, but also something else. Yeah. The new tools will be new tools will be ready in January. Right now, we are using to broach the inside of the frame for the 1873 revolver. And the operator, uh, this machine, make the square of the forging frame that we have seen before. So it's gonna, it's gonna give us a specific dimension good for our machine, for our CNC machine. And also uh, speeds up the process of rifling. Uh, absolutely, it's gonna be a it's a it's a huge machine compared to the old and one. And the same quality as the old one. Probably better. Probably better. Now we are next to the machine that destroys the parts that doesn't go through, to, through quality control. Yeah. Uh, to show the viewers that Pieta firearms are strictly controlled uh, and strictly um, fine-tuned when they leave the factory, is that right? That's correct. We got two kinds of control. One is a technician control, where is something wrong on the CNC machine. And then we got a quality control for consumer. For example, on the brass uh, backstop, yeah, I can show you some spots that case by the casting and we cannot repair, we cannot sell those parts and we are just destroyed them because they are not good enough for our quality. That's not uh, nothing uh, considering the functionality? No, of the, it's just an aesthetic and we, the, we, we care about it and so there's nothing to do. We just destroy them and we cannot claim to anyone. It's just in the forging process and sometimes happen. All those parts are one year of job and on 70,000 guns is nothing. But when we find something wrong, we do not sell them. We just destroy and throw and it away. Is, this is 40 parts for the whole year. Yeah, it's not just for the whole year. Small yeah, amount. but there's a brass and then we got some steel there. Same problem, same spot or technical issue. That's this it. Is for example That's for the 1858 Remington model. It's just a cylinder. Probably the chamber was not uh, under control, was not in our tolerances, and just, we and destroyed, destroyed it. it. Yeah. So we can throw them away and we get fresh material for next year. We are not selling something that we know are not good enough. Now you will see in slow motion how the parts are being destroyed.
Now in the part of the factory that we see grips are being painted. What is this part? Uh, yes, it's just a little improve that we have done two years ago. We decided to say we want to finish the grip in the way that we like. So that we put other money in this department, so we varnish the grip by ourselves. We decide what kind of gloss we are going to sell to the consumer. And those two guys plus another one made the production that we need, daily production. That means that they put some color on the grip, we got free step, and every day they paint around 200 grips and they stock for the chronos. So uh, right now you see the pistol grips here, we got uh, stocks over there for the sniff carbine, they're going to be finished tomorrow or the next day of tomorrow. And we got here uh, the stocks and the handle for the chronos, going to be finished and started next week. So we, we are organizing the department based on the production schedule that we have monthly production schedule so every day they need they must produce a certain quantity of gun and uh, parts for the chronos also that uh, something i said in the, my video where i reviewed pieta chronos you're using minelli stocks yeah top exactly quality. exactly they are one of uh, biggest supplier and we buy the wood from them their quality is amazing because they can keep the, the our dimension and painting and you do yourself we do ourselves we, we buy the socks in this way, or the handles here. Those how they, we buy them, almost ready. We yeah. paint them, we check the, the forehand outside, we, are not, we don't have this kind of uh, technology. Beautiful wood. But this is how we buy the stuff from Minelli. Okay. And we are doing the same with our grips so you can, uh, you can see them painting every single gun that means that from here we have another step here Alberto mi dai una delle tue finite so we get three, three steps so plain uh, first color, first part of color and, and gloss. The finish, the Look gloss. Look how beautiful this grip is. And this is done directly by our employer. Now we're in, in part of the factory where the most important uh, tools are human hands in the finishing part of the factory. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. In this section of the company, this part of the company, uh, we spend a lot of time teaching young guys how to work on guns. Even if we have the best technology here, in this part of the company, you still need your will, your hands, your, your uh, skills to assemble the guns. You cannot do that without. So we start from 16, 70 years old guys, teach them a job that we long forever. So that's a really important for us, find young people that want to learn this traditional job. Like being a gunsmith is use your hand, use a file, use a hammer, a screwdriver. That's what we do. Here. Be tactile, be precise. The details, highest, and knowing what you're doing. That's what makes the difference. And you see, this guy is just putting something on the grip for the 1858. Small job, but make uh, your day full. Also, not just black powder revolver. No, this is MIP carbine that's going to be ready for January. Then we got 1873 revolver, we got and Kronos Kronos over there. So this guy checked the timing, checked the, the aesthetical uh, situation, st the aesthetical finish of the gun. And of course, uh, this is sherry. we need to get everything assembled on the gun. Cylinder, little screw, wedge. And we have so many models that we need to know what we are doing. It's not easy. We have more than 500 models.
So tomorrow morning is going to be ready for the proof house. So right now you see how shiny it is and it's perfect. perfect it's perfect craftsmanship. for the customer. Perfect craftsmanship. And after that it's going to be assembled, tested by the proof house, reassemble it and then turn it back. That's a 45 long colt. This is, Jesus Christ, this is so beautiful. Pattern model, Porsche nickel plated. Actually, is a general pattern uh, gun. That's another uh, commemorative version of the Teddy Roosevelt gun. Of course, the grips are not assembled, <laughs> but it's another 45 long colt, full laser engraved nickel plated gun. And it's gonna be shipped Friday for uh, US market. And all those patterns and all those guns are engraved in this company. We do that by ourselves. We are uh, uh, yeah, lasering the department over there. The details in this production is 100% of the value of the This is the most beautiful record. Uh, this one has been uh, a commemorative model made by Colt in the 19th century that has been sold during an auction for 200,000 US dollars. So we made a replica of that gun. Of course, this is a laser engraved, it's not an engraved. 200,000 euros replica gun. Re uh, no, not the replica, the original. The we made the replica, so it's going to be a more affordable compare no, the original. But that's been a request by a customer say, I want to get a copy of this 12-inch barrel lamp band line model, centennial uh, ink pattern. Okay, this is the area where we assemble the single action revolver. Uh, this guy is the same figure of Christian. He made the final check of every single gun that we produce. He has a schedule that needs to be followed. Mirko, I il foglio del controllo and you need to sign for every single step and we record that schedule so we know that every gun has been checked of uh, trigger pull, cylinder barrel gap, head space, timing, grid fit and no uh, cosmetic scratches and the cylinder need to be locked up in proper position. So we do that for every single single action that we produce and it's an internal record and when I find this paper, I put my sign on the paper. Mm -hmm. So this guy check everything. And you recheck. And I recheck everything has been done. So it's a double check, but that means that we are going to uh, offer to the customer high quality that we can do. You're committed it. to the high quality. That's, a, that's, that's the market. There's nothing to do. This is the market. There's nothing less. We are committed for the best quality that we can produce. Uh, now we saw black powder revolvers uh, uh, assembly and single action revolvers assembly. Now we are uh, going to see how Pieta Kronos semi-auto hunting rifle is assembled. Is and right? not only that, also semi-automatic shotgun. That no one was being killed, we test the fire, uh, blank fire, don't worry for that. So uh, this is the final section of the company where we put together all the rifles that we produce. Those guns have been already tested by the National Proof House and now they are putting everything back so that the gun are ready to be shipped and ready to be sent to the gun. So this is the after the, testing after the proof, the proof house. house. This is the final step. We uh, test the action, we test the closure of the magazine, we test the, uh, the barrel, 
with a laser and with the light. And then we go in the number shooting range, inside shooting range, and we make a shooting test of 10 rounds. If everything goes well, the gun has, is being cleaned by them or by the girl, and then box it and ship to the customer. Well, this is something new that has to yet to come to the Serbian market. This is Kronos with polymer stock. Uh, yes, that's going to be available from March. This is going to be just sample. And after March, we're going to ship all over the world. So this is the exclusive out of Europe? Well, you it's, uh, yeah, you are the first yeah. to see that in a polymer. I like polymer guns, myself personally, better than the wood ones. Because the polymer is uh, uh, more durable than the wood. In yes, correct. In extremely uh, extreme uh, conditions like cold weather and then such, uh, moisture and everything. Yeah, this right. This product looks beautiful. It's very light with this polymer stock and with this adjustable trick piece, this is amazing. This laminate stock gives the new step in the uh, quality and the eye, uh, eye candy. This gun's eye candy. Yeah, you're right. And uh, I re we really like this color. The gray is probably my, my favorite one. Beautiful, beautiful rifle. Uh, this, this is a coach gun. This, this is a not, coach gun. It's not uh, available in Serbia. I wonder why. Because this is great. I will well, uh, first. I will buy this one because I like that. Uh, it's gonna like be that short. Barrels. It's gonna be a cowboy shooter. Of course. of course, need to get a coach gun like that. It's a hammer's coach gun, so you can shoot it and be ready for your yeah. uh, steel target. And this is going to be our production. We are not producing so many per year, but it's really fun because the market want to get a, a nice, well Chokes. done uh, cylinder. Cylinder. It's good for cowboy shooter. It's of not course. for hunting, but it's cowboy shooter. Cowboy shooter and, f and fun day on the range. Yeah. Great. And the trigger. <laughs> Very, very it, good. It's good. It's good for Chicago, and I really like the side by side. This is also our semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, I asked why does that come in Serbia? It will come soon. Yes. That's for the Russian market with a 28. 12 gauge. 28. And, it's, it's, and so light. Yeah. Jesus. That's inertia recoil system. Very, and very we also cold. produce the gas operation recoil system. What's the higher demand for? Inertia or gas? Mostly inertia. Because uh, the I gas system need to clean it and, and so on, but the inertia... Does it work good with the uh, uh, really skip light. trap? Yeah, Munition? 24 gram. 24 gram, yeah. yeah. We did it. It's very light shotgun. You must import this into Serbia because it would be very, very high demand for this. I guarantee it. Before shooting, we also check the, the sights of the rifle with this locking system and the target over there. So we uh, check the point of impact with laser and then we shoot. And this guy is doing that before every single, uh, for every single rifle. This is the part of the factory where you do the final touches on uh, making the gun more beautiful. Is my, am, I, am I right? You're right. This is the engraving section of the company. We have those laser machines. We make our own pattern 
and we spend all day long engraving, making the logo or uh, customize the guns for the customer. And that's really important because it's a niche, but now it's part of our line, create beautiful gun for the customer. So not just the standard quality, but even also higher quality guns for the customer that want to have something more for the gun. If you want to see how the barrels are engraved, this is the first step. This is after the uh, process of engraving. Although it's machining work, not handwork, it's still extremely beautiful. Bye bye, stay, stay. We shoot the, uh, the chronos and sometimes the pistols. So every gun that we produce, you can see here, uh, that's from this morning, uh, we test them. To check the position of the firing pin, to test the, on the uh, electronic shooting range, mm -hmm. that is that, so we can print our target and we can keep record of the quality of the gun we are going to send you. And this has been uh, built before the building. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. uh, 70, 70 meter long, 50 for the, uh, for the rifles and 20 for the people that want to shoot. And of course it's a mess. Of course, <laughs> it's well, you mess. test uh, all kinds of ammunition. <laughs> exactly, we need to test all kinds of ammunition from Fioki to Banao to any kind of brand that we can find on the market because our RWS, rifle need to be tested with them because we are not selling the rifle and just one ammo. We are testing the rifle with all the ammo available on the market. We are not shooting with reloading ammo. It's something that we don't care. But on, on the commercial ammo that we can find in Italy have been tested and showed here during our studying and also during production. Uh, now we are at the closing uh, portion of the production in the Pieta factory. What room is this? Oh, this is the final, this is the most important room in the company. It means that where we check the gun for the one more check, that's the third check that we are in our road. Uh, we oil all the gun and we box the gun for every single customer and then we collect the gun for the ship, every single ship. So uh, this guy is checking the, from the path, general path of models and these two ladies are cleaning the gun, they are boxing, putting the oil and putting all the uh, paperwork that every single customer want to have in their own gun. That means we get our instruction manual their flyer or their instruction manual. So we have specific procedure in order to get all the gun boxes in a proper way and ship away. We put the serial number, we put the label, we put everything must be put in the box in order to send you the gun that you want. And this is done all day long. So this is what arrived today from the proof house. Has been uh, recorded in our system, uploaded in our system. This is our scan, scan level, so we can put in our system again, so we know exactly where every single guns are in a specific moment of their life. So we keep record of everything. And the customer gets something like this. Yeah, different boxes based on the customer. This is another problem. That's our uh, slave, this uh, from another customer, and then we got other two customers over there. Every, every customer, every importer can get their own box, uh, box in order to be unique. Like uh, Simon and Fernand get their own boxes, EMF Fernand, they have own boxes, Taylor's, Dixie Guns This World. is the beautiful, beautiful box. Yeah, it's mm. really worse than style. Now in the, play, uh, in the part of the factory where the final packaging are done for the distribution. Exactly. Right? Well, we collect all the guns ready to go and all the shipment ready to go. So we are waiting for uh, a truck for the shipment that is leaving for America in around a couple of hours. So that's, the, that's our life. That's a daily life of our production, of our company. So we have done almost everything. We have covered everything that is probably good for the consumer in order to understand who we are and what we do. And 
when we say that we stand behind our product, I mean that we are following every single step of our production. Alessandro, thank you very much for the visit. Thank you very much for being our host and, to, and uh, for showing us how Pieta firearms are made, starting from black powder, single action, revolvers, Pieta chronos, shotguns and everything else. Uh, we enjoyed this visit, I am sure our viewers also enjoyed and we are looking forward to the new pro uh, uh, products from Pieta factory and please remain with the same quality because Pieta firearms are excellent. Thank you. Take care. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.